the dragon reveal his evil heart to me. I shot four lightning arrows into him. I saw the dragon fall from his thorns into the dark, endless universe. I am Dragon Slayer. Chagore <laughs> The word Apache was first used in the late 15th century. Since then, it has been applied to the Athabascan speaking people occupying areas now parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. Kansas, Utah, and the Mexican states of Sonora and Chihuahua. In 1875, all Apache groups in Arizona were removed to San Carlos Agency due to the U.S. government policy of concentration at Goodwin Springs, later known as Hell's 40 Acres at Old San Carlos Agency. The Eastern White Mountain people were included, but they chose to settle at a place on north bank of Gila River, opposite and a little above Dewey Flats, and they lived there for several years. 
The Western White Mountain groups chose a separate site from the Eastern White Mountain Band and settled at Navajo Bill Point and present-day Bialis, all living there until the mid-1880s. In the mid-1880s, all Apaches who were concentrated on the San Carlos Apache Reservation were permitted to return to their original homelands. As young members of the Eastern and Western White Mountain clan groups, Chief Bialis, John Rope, Chief Nosey, Mickey Free, David Longstreet, George Buck, Francis Drake, Nashkeen Harvey, Palmer Vailer, Anna Price, Nancy Wright, Andrew Stanley, George Gray, and others were asked to remain in the Gila Valley region as their clan leaders felt this part of the land belonged to them and their ancestors of the past. The Biola settlement continued to live in peace and many enlisted in the U.S. Army as Apache scouts and as soldiers pay. They farmed along the Gila River, hunted the northern and eastern mountains, and continued to practice their strong spiritual way of life. The spiritual leadership structure was the foundation of social policy and control for all families living within the Biola settlement. All marriages, social dances, spiritual ceremonies, or which boy was to be taught the medicine way of life had to receive its blessings from both the head clan chiefs and the spiritual leadership council of the Bilas settlement. The Bilas spiritual leadership council was comprised of spiritual medicine men and women from various clanships who had total control over social, spiritual, and leadership policies of the Bilas settlement. It was within this council that spiritual medicine men such as Joe Harvey, Fred Wesley, John Robertson, Neil Wright, Ambrose Swift, Bonnie Titla, David Dan Gussione, Manny Hinton, Clarence Wesley, Chester Buck, and many other young boys were groomed to become Bilas future spiritual leaders. One of the oldest ceremonies still being practiced today in Bilas is the coming of age ceremony a four-day spiritual ceremony that introduces young Apache girls into a life of womanhood. Let's go. 